Good afternoon, my name is Luis Novaro, and today we're going to talk about the importance of camaraderie in the fire service. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and, excuse me, and where I come from. I've been a firefighter for eight years now, and then six years in Key Largo Fire, very small department, two stations, six full-time firefighters, six part-time firefighters, and 40, 40 volunteers when I was there. I started as a volunteer firefighter, and my last two years there, I was a part-time driver. More recently, I moved to Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, one of the largest department in the state of Florida, if not the largest. We have 70 plus stations, over 3,000 firefighters. So first, what is the importance? What is camaraderie? Camaraderie is the mutual trust and friendship amongst people who spend a lot of time together. Firefighters work 24 hours every third day. I consider that to be a lot of time. On a professional level, camaraderie improves our effectiveness in emergencies. Knowing the abilities, values, attitudes, and even opinions of your crew are key parts of building this trust. We work in a hostile environment. Sometimes we're tasked with having to save one or the other's life, mentally and physically. Firefighters have one of the highest suicide rates in the United States. One of the highest. It is a very touchy subject, but having that trust within your crew kind of develops like a peer group. They can help you degas because they speak your language. They know what you're going through. We deal with people at their worst of their worst when they're most vulnerable, and they look to us. To be tough, to be brave, to be effective under pressure, to not make mistakes when people are watching. And those calls do take a toll on you. No matter how tough you are, they just chip away. Some more than others, but all of us. Having that core group of friends in the department that speak your language that you're not taking this now home and talking to your wife, husband, daughter, depends on their age, son, maybe even your parents, mom, dad, brother, sister, that don't know how to help you degas. Now your calls are affecting them. You don't want to do that. Also, camaraderie makes work fun. It's shown and being in a funner environment makes everybody more effective, more satisfied. You feel part of the team. Also, patients get better treatment. Just think about a cardiac arrest call. Three guys. Officer, most of the time, is making sure everything's running smooth. But you and your partner are pretty much doing all the work. Now, if you don't trust your partner, not only do you have to make sure your tasks are getting done, but you're going to be constantly looking over to see if your partner is doing his job. Now, you might slow down your job and miss something because you're trying to double check and double check and double check. Having that trust, you know your partner is going to get that job done. You know he's going to do everything he needs to do. And the call is going to go nice and easy. Now, I will say there are some advantages to being in a smaller department. Key Largo, like I said, there's only 52 of us. Everybody knew everybody. It's very easy to have a conversation. Don't have much call volume. You're able to spend more time together and build this camaraderie. 
in Miami-Dade, we have 3,000 firemen. I'm most likely not going to meet all of them in my time there. I'm probably going to work with somebody new every shift. till I get a fixed spot and my crew doesn't leave or get promoted or want to become a driver or TRT. I could be getting somebody new every shift. And also our call volume is a lot higher. You could be at a busy station that you're not at the station all day. Could be running all day. Just have enough time to go eat, take a shower. Makes it a lot harder to create that camaraderie in between crew. This is why I think camaraderie is important. 